Hello viewers, today is a simple tutorial video on Dragon's Adventures Solar Event. So let's dive right into this. Upon loading in, you will see this screen pop up here telling you about the solar event. It will be lasting for up to a week, begins here, and all file and information on it is right here. So, with no further ado, just jump in. It starts out like any basic tutorial here, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this. So, when you first come into here, you are going to head over to your portal and head right over to the final thing, the solar event, which contains three dragons, one of them being from the volcano world. But, not to say, let's get started. Upon loading in to the new world, you will be met this site right here right on screen right now the spawn area for this is very well done the first thing you will encounter here and first thing you ever really will do here concerns you with this dragon follow the dragon's directions and do as she says this will lead you to your next step the tutorial will eventually lead you to this open cave where you will talk to this dragon once again and get your first egg and three and a hundred solar coins. After listening to the tutorial, follow the dragon's directions to head into the cave. Once over here, you will want to upgrade the egg that you have. You will have one solar egg and you will drop it in. Unfortunately, I do not have a hundred sun coins, so I'll be right back once I get a hundred sun coins. Unfortunately, I was I am unable to earn any coins at the moment. So, I guess we'll have to work with what we get. Sorry, I did not mean to pause there. I'll repeat what I said. So, mainly, for the most part, this is where you will take place on upgrading your egg to get a solar dragon. This is the upgrader. Once the egg is placed here within the candle, it will upgrade. Every time you want to upgrade, upgrade an egg, it will go up by 100 sun coins. In my opinion, to get the most likelihood of getting a Sun Dragon event, event Dragon, you will most likely want to have it at one at a full ten evolvements. But in my personal opinion, going to five will be just fine for you. So let's get talking and tell how you how you earn the Sun Coins. So let's get started on that. There's a total of four in-game ways to earn the Sun Coins. Fear here by football and ice cream Sunday PV. I do not believe you can earn coins from here, but I think you can. And Star Catcher. All ways to earn coins as long with the daily reward wheel. Let's get started and I'll show you the daily reward wheel now. The first noble thing to get your sun coins it will be from the daily sun coin Same thing, or as you can see, sun gold daily boosts. You claim these after about 24 hours each. I've already claimed mine for the day, but there's no fancy animations. As you can see, once you get to day 7, you get 70 sun coins. And sun coins aren't just used to find, to upgrade eggs. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Sun coins can also be used in the event store, where there are a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 items, ranging from color potions, pupil colors, and a custom island, along with a custom backpack and a custom power potion. This will give your dragon the void power. Luckily for us, this dragon has it. This I've already gotten it and gave it to this dragon, so I can show you what that looks like right now. It will create a sun a solar eclipse right in the front of your dragon sending out solar energy in all directions or mainly with the direction you point now you may be one now the other ways to earn coins let's get to those i almost forgot you can also buy accessories with the coins for your dragons ranging from a multiple types here along with some robux ones of course a full set always gotta get the robux in there somehow you know Number two on our list to earn sun coins would be right here in Starcatcher. 
This usually takes about 2 minutes to start up and is the fastest way, in my opinion, to get a decent amount of sun coins. So, I'll show you what these rounds look like once this round gets started here. When you start out the sun coins, we'll, they will need to collect 5 of the floating orbs within a time minute, within a 4 minute variable, starting now. Very simply, you need to fly around and make sure to grab all these flying orbs by just spamming E. And once all the orbs are collected, you will get a nice little paycheck. Let's skip to that part. Final one. Come on. There we go. Once all 25 stars are collected, you will get a nice little paycheck of 50 sun coins. Let's move on to the next way. The next way to earn sun coins are through here. The football match. Or soccer. Depends on where you come from. Now, we will have to wait for someone to join us in here. Don't think there will be anyone, but let's hope. Because if we can't, we can't. So that might be a problem. Huzzah! After an hour of waiting, finally, someone joins here for the football. Football will usually start within a 30 second timer, so let's jump to that part. Now, you will not be using your dragon in the, in the football match, so just keep that in mind. Once in football, you will have 10 seconds to be ready. Make sure to hold your shift button and make sure your dragon is running towards the ball in the middle. Once the four minute timer is up, you will have to uh, stop. Oh my gosh! Do remind you that the ball may be glitchy at times like that. But after three minutes and after a score of a point, you will win Either the winner or loser will still get sun coins. Let's see if we can jump to that part after I get a goal here. Gotta have some fun on camera. So close. Come on. The more goals you get, the more chance you will have to win. So, let's jump to the part where I... Where who sees who win. Good night. She scored on me. She's good. I mean, I have two scores on her, but still, she's pretty darn good. Yeah, <laughs> she's starting to take a comeback here. We got even. Oh, what is that ball doing? Oh, oh no! She's gonna score on me again. It's the sun. Oh wait, she missed. Ah, what a steal! Ah, no. Please behave with me, ball. Ah, get the ball. Ah, oh boy. Now, I do remind you, the more people that are in the soccer match, the harder it is to do. Since we're just doing a 2v2, but I believe it can be up to four players. Four to three. Ah, no! I think she's gonna beat me here on this. Well, I didn't win, but still, it was fun. I will only be able to get only a good 25 coins, but you can get all the way up t to, well, a good decent 70, 75 coins. So, that's a good way to get gems. Now it's time for the last time. Oh boy, this is gonna be the hard one. Oh, harder of the two. Goodness me, I almost forgot to tell you about how to get the eggs themselves. The eggs come from these egg boxes. They randomly generate on the map, so there's no really designated point. They take about as long as any other egg to ha to collect. So, be aware of that. Once collected, and we actually have enough, I can show you guys here what we need to do. And I'll show you how the upgrade process works now, now that we have enough of the scent coins. Back down in the upgrader, now I'll show you how this works and what the eggs look like once they are upgraded. Upgrade. It will begin upgrading like this and BAM, you have a fully tier 1. I should just get it up to tier 5 to be the most efficient and most likely chance. They do take an hour, up to an hour though to hatch, so be aware of that. So, let's get started on the final way to earn sun coins. And that will pretty much wrap up this video. Now, there is a boss fight going to be released here pretty soon. Let's go see when it was gonna, when it when they are going to release the boss fight for this area. Uh Oh man, looks like that's going to be well into the event. 
Yeah, I guess I'll have to do an update video on the boss fight itself. But, in the meantime, this is our fourth and final way to earn send points through our good old friend here. What you got for me today, buddy? Looks like we need to head over to the Star World and find three. And I say this again. Three little snow cones. They will release a small digging sound that sounds like a bunch of crystals chiming together in the wind. So, and it is very much so noticeable. So let's go see if we can find them. To the Arctic or Tundra biome. Alright, we are here in Tundra. Now we gotta go locate one. Let's see if we can locate one here within the first few minutes. These will randomly generate, so be aware of this. I hear one. Always around here. There you are! Hit E and you will collect them. Collect all three and you'll get a nice paycheck. I can hear another one. Where are you? Dinging some- Ah, there you are. Come here, you. I hear you. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Way down here. And there you go. 75 nice good old sun coins. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. Let's take a look at the island before we go. Huh, I appear to be stuck in the ceiling. I guess we'll leave it off here with a glitch. Woo! But oh, man, this place is beautiful. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you want to see more content like this, like and subscribe and let me know how you liked it. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys next time. Peace out and goodbye.